the quicksand concentrator and the Angus McKirk sluice can be used together to capture very fine gold. Okay, this is the uh, quicksand concentrator after I've been feeding it for about 15 minutes. I've fed it about uh, over two gallons of Wheel River sand and then this is an extra catch here. I have it run into a small Angus and Kirk sluice. And it's just running off the water coming out of the backyard tap. Has a little drop ripple there in front where if there is, is any gold of any size it should be in there and hopefully uh, there would be but I doubt it was just, just a little river sand that I, I screened down to a uh, actually a size 12 screening. And there is some fine gold in the Weaver River sand, not much, but I may be getting a few specks. I'm just doing it as a test, not really intending to get any gold, but you never know. This is how I've been feeding it here with this material. This is the sand, just dump it in there at about that rate. And I would just keep on feeding it continuously, but I'm just showing how quickly it clears out the lights from that sand. See, that's already running clear down in here. So that's pretty fast. This is the panned out material from the Angus McKirk sluice, which it did catch a lot of fine black sand and some uh, a lot of ruby sand. And there may be a little bit of uh, very ultra fine subflower sized gold in there, but there really is uh, nothing big enough to be seen clearly with the naked eye. This river does bear micron gold, and I suspect it has been captured here. Okay, these are the concentrates from the quicksand concentrator pan down. Uh, originally, there was about enough there to cover the bottom of this pan, and I've panned off all except, of course, the heavies here which are mostly black sand and some ruby or garnet sand as before and I don't know if you can see it there is a little more of that fine ultra fine gold that's mixed in here with the black sand especially toward the the head of the crescent there but nothing of any size which is typical of that particular river Fine gold can be seen in these coarser concentrates from the quicksand concentrator. Okay, I'm losing my light here, so it's hard to see this, but these are the final concentrates from the quicksand concentrator right there. That's a pretty good angle there. Final concentrates from the quicksand concentrator here about two and a half gallons of screened mostly sand from the river which I could see just a little bit of fine gold in and that's uh, very typical for the Weaver River. This is a close-up of the concentrates from the quicksand concentrator and are noticeably more coarse. These much finer concentrates from the Angus McKirk sluice were of course captured from the overflow from the quicksand concentrator.